iPod today. And I'm going to look at the camera because that's where I need to look. I found my iPod today. And I got pretty excited because I haven't seen this thing in probably like a year. Because it's been in my car. It was in the glove box. And I had just decided to clean out the glove box because it was dirty. And I, I wanted to find my gum that I had in there a long time ago. Because gum is good. And I needed gum. But I found my iPod. And it still works. And it still has all my music on it from like a year ago. See? Ooh, look at it. It has Mumford. It has my Mumford and Sons. The only thing is, I don't have any speakers. And it's like the first generation iPod, so it's not even going to work. Unless I have speakers or um, like little earbuds or if I like plug it into my car radio, which doesn't even work right now because my car is about dead. He's dying. Um, but there is that. I found my iPod. And I'm freaking excited about it, because I found all my music that I lost, that I thought I lost, that was on my iPod years and years ago. Um, also, I wanted to talk about Gilbert Blythe. And if you don't know who Gilbert Blythe is, you should go and pick up the book, Anne of Green Gables, as soon as, as, soon as this is over, we finish watching it, because, because you want to see how this ends. But Gilbert Blythe is one of the most beautiful, the most awesome, the most, I don't even know, he's one of the best men to ever walk the world, in the world of fiction, ever to be read or put into character by a person. That was awkward. But anyway, Gilbert Blythe, Gilbert Blythe is, is pretty neat. And... I just thought you'd like to know about that. And I watched Anne of Green Gables, which is an adaption of the book. It is not as good as the book. But I was bored, and I didn't want to read the book, because I don't have it. But, oh, excuse me. I wanted to watch it, because I wanted to see the Gilbert Blythe in action. And I, sometimes I just want to reach through the screen. And I want to yell at him, and I want to tell him to kiss and surely, because he is stupid, and if it just kisses her, life would be a lot easier, because they would be in a relationship sooner, they would be married sooner, they wouldn't have to read five books to see them get married. I don't think it's five books. I never actually read all the books, but they do get married at one point. I don't remember when, but yeah, if, if he just kisses her, things would be so much easier. And I just thought that was important. Because I love him. And I want the best for him. I do. I really do. In other news, I went to work today. I went to work. I work at Chick-fil-A. And I was on the headset. So I was doing the drive through stuff. I was saying, hello. Welcome to Chick-fil-A. My name is Anna. How may I serve you? That is what I say. I don't say it in an accent. I don't know why I'm talking in an accent right now. But that is what I do. That is my job. And... Today, I sold five cookies, and a lot of people don't know that we have cookies at Chick-fil-A because we don't advertise them very well, but I sold five of them at the drive-thru, and I was very excited and very proud of myself because cookies are the bomb.com, and you should try a cookie whenever you get the chance, even if it is not at Chick-fil-A, you should just eat the cookies, eat the cookies and be happy. Thank you.